Welcome to Smart Remarks. Meet the new Tea Party boss. Same as the old boss. So if you've been following this whole debt ceiling debate, uh, your head's probably spinning. The Democrats are folding like a cheap card table as usual, but the Republicans can't seem to get it together. Uh, as even Speaker Boehner's unreasonable plan isn't unreasonable enough for the Tea Party Caucus, which is holding out for something called cut cap and balance. Now, cut cap and balance is passed by the House. It's got about zero chance of becoming law, but in the interest of educating myself, I wandered on over to the website to check it out. And what I found was one of the most laughable proposals put forward during this debate. It goes without saying that your Tea Partiers want to cut spending, and as per their name, they also want to cap future spending, and they also want to pass a balanced budget amendment. Fine. But just where, you ask, are they going to cut this spending? Are they going to maybe cut defense spending? <laughs> right, as if. No, defense spending is going to be completely exempt from all of this. Uh, they're going to find billions and billions of non-security discretionary spending, but there's also this from the Cut, Cap, and Balance website, uh, Q&A section. Question, does the legislation make any changes in Social Security and Medicare? Answer, no. And I thought, well, what a bunch of wimps. Here the Tea Party is supposed to be about hardcore fiscal responsibility and they're afraid to lay a pinky on Social Security and Medicare. Now, you can certainly understand why. Seniors are a hugely influential voting bloc and they would slaughter conservatives, maybe especially Tea Party conservatives, at the ballot box if they led that charge. But here we have two of the most expensive social insurance programs that we have, along with our unbelievably expensive global military presence, and it's all completely off the table. Table, and these people are supposed to be the deficit hawks? I mean, I, you know when it comes down to the Tea Party, some of them really think that we can balance the budget and get back to fiscal sanity merely by cutting off the undeserving, grasping poor at the knees. This is a movement that's still rooted in resentment of the poor. But we also know that many of the Tea Party leaders or its leadership, uh, organizations like Freedom Works, have advocated major changes to Social Security and Medicare in the past. If you go to Freedom Works website, you will find where they talk about how, quote, the only true path to reform is to greatly increase recipients' ownership and control. And isn't that cute? They want to privatize Social Security and Medicare, give the money to Wall Street. What a great idea. I wonder why the cut, cap, and balance crowd isn't talking about that yet. Uh, bottom line, the Tea Partiers cannot afford to be specific about their agenda because to be specific is to reveal that they aren't really serious about cutting government spending. They just want to cut the spending they don't like and keep the stuff they do like or the stuff that they think is politically necessary. It's gutless. It's more the same thing. Well, why did we expect anything different?